Credential templates. What are they? Credential templates are customizable, reusable data structures that accelerate and streamline verifiable credential issuance. So they are blueprints that establish reusable data structures for different use cases and credential types, which then accelerates the issuance of verifiable credentials by only requiring import for dynamic data during the issuance. They are customizable, so you can either take and use predefined templates from us or develop your own custom templates by defining your particular data needs for your use case and even be able to prefill certain data points for a faster issuance process. What do credential templates now enable? They make the credential issuance more efficient. By using credential templates, developers can streamline the process of creating verifiable credentials as some of their information can already be prefilled during the template creation. And it makes it really flexible and adaptable because credential templates provide flexibility for different use cases as they allow for customizable data structures and the ability to dynamically add or override fields during the issuance process. So what are now the features that you get with our tooling? You can create and revoke credentials based on those templates. You can verify them using pre-existing verification policies or build your own. You can distribute them using the OIDC for verifiable credentials issuance flows. And you can create your store for verifiable credentials, creating wallet solutions for holders using different storage options. Let's now dive in and see everything in action via our SSI kit demo. Now in the SSI kit, we will do two things. First, we will use the command line interface to issue ourselves a credential based on a predefined template we have already. Then we will use the REST interface afterwards to create a custom credential and then issue a credential based on that custom credential. To issue, we need a few things. So first, I will get myself a did. Therefore, I list all the dits I have. I will be using this one. And now let's have a look at all the templates which are available. So as you can see, we already have quite a few templates by default included in the SSI kit. And for this example, we will be using the verifiable ID. To now issue myself a credential, I can type SSI kit, we see issue. Then I need the issuer where we use the did, then the subject where I also use the did, then the credential, so the proof type, which is in this case LD proof, so we can easily read it and the template which was very verifiable id and i will be using the interactive mode so i can easily provide the data for the credential let's also have a quick look at how the credential template actually looks like if i will jump over here where i have the file open where it is defined it's just simple json structure where we have the context, the credential schema, the credentials object where we all have the different fields which we now will prefill in using the interactive mode and then some other credential data which is necessary. And with that, let's go back here and start our issuance process. And now I will be asked to provide my name, my date of birth, my gender, then my place of birth, current address. And what we now get back is a credential which was based on this verifiable ID template I showed before with the now the dynamic data replace. So the address, the name, date of birth, and so on. Let's now jump over to the REST service where we create our custom credential template and then issue a credential based on this template. First step is to start the SSI kit REST API. And when that is up and running, we go to the signatory API and here, we can now create a custom credential template. And I already defined here a custom credential template, which simply defines the type, verifiable credential, then here custom verifiable credential, it could be any name, the context, the ID, the issuer, which then also will be overwritten, and the issue date, which will be overwritten automatically. 
And here is the interesting part where I defined a credential subject where I decided, okay, I just need an ID, which is the did, then a name and a country. And here also comes in another interesting part because I already pre-filled that value. So I said, okay, country uh, is pre-filled with Austria. And let's then see what, what, what that means in a second. So I will just copy this content here and go back. And here I can now import this template. So first I need to give it an ID, which is at the end, like we used before, verifiable ID, that would be the ID. I use here my custom template. And I just paste the content I just copied. With that, I execute, and this will create now a credential template for me. I can should also now find this if I execute this list command here and search for my custom template. So here it is. That looks good. Let's now use that and create a credential based on it. So I now go in here, this issue command and paste this body for the issuance request where I have now template ID, which is verifiable ID, but I now want to use my custom template. So I provide that here. I also use the did from before and proof type LD proof. So can, we can read it more easily. And here I provide the credential data, which is credential subject and my name. The other things will be automatically pre-filled as we will now see if we execute this command, we get back our credential. And here all this data was automatically prefilled. So the issuance date issued valid from the ID with my did. And also here, as you see the country Austria, although I didn't provide it in the issuance request. And the nice thing also is, so let's, let's take this here and also provide it in the, in the issuance request. And let's now change this. So Germany. And if we now execute again, we will see that this actually gets overwritten, which is really nice because it gives you this option where you have pre-filled data and it's just a default option, but you also can just, yeah, override it. And the other cool thing is I could also now come in here and add my last name, for example. And execute that. And I will get back this credential with my last name added. And the great thing is you have this great flexibility now where you can create templates, where you have fixed defined data, which you can override optionally. And also you can just add new fields if you need them to during the issuance flow. But wait, there's more. Our tool set works across multiple ecosystems, so you can Use DITs ranging from DIT key, web, EPSI, IOTA, checked, and many more. You are really flexible when it comes to languages, so creating and verifying and distributing VCs via CLI, REST, or our Java and Kotlin libraries. And you also have multiple storage options when it comes to building holder solutions for your end users. And through our open source model, you are flexible and you can extend through our modular architecture whenever you need to. Start your day for free and create your first credential template with Vault ID. Visit our website at vault slash SSI kit or the docs. You can also click the link in the description to get started. With that, happy building. See you next time.